Hello friends, welcome to WeatherCast. Today's educational video is on Indian Ocean Dipole. So let us start by understanding what is this Indian Ocean Dipole. It is the oscillation in the sea surface temperature between the West Indian Ocean and the East Indian Ocean, uh, very close to the equator. So if there is, let us say, a warm pool of water near Somalia, and there is a cold pool of water near Sumatra, then that will lead to some kind of a convective pattern in the atmosphere and that will keep changing as this water pool keeps shifting. Okay, So that uh, leads to an irregular oscillation which uh, impacts the convection or the convective strength uh, near in the Indian Ocean. So it is very similar to ENSO or the El Nino Southern Oscillation but it is a Indian Ocean phenomenon. So it is also known as the Indian Nino. So let us try to understand the Indian Ocean modes or uh, as I also call them IOD modes. So uh, the first is a neutral phase of IOD. So what is the neutral phase of IOD? In the neutral phase, the difference in the temperature between the West Indian Ocean and the East Indian Ocean, which is close to the equator, the pool of water here and here, there is not much difference between the two. Uh, but nevertheless, the water pool near Sumatra is warmer compared to the water pool near Somalia. So because of that what happens is since there is a warmer water here it leads to a vertical updraft of air uh, in the East Indian Ocean and it leads to a downdraft of air near the West Indian Ocean and thereby you have this Walker circulation cell that is created and the Walker circulation cell um, moves the winds from um, uh, west to east. So this is the normal uh, neutral phase of IOD where the Walker circulation is uh, in this direction. Okay, And uh, in the neutral phase of IOD, uh, we will talk about the influences later. Let us just try to understand the um, basic physics of this IOD modes. So during the neutral phase of IOD, if you look at the thermocline in the ocean, that thermocline doesn't have any preferential slope. It is a straight line. Uh, because there is no preferential upwelling or downwelling anywhere. Okay? And then what happens is you have this other mode which is known as the negative phase of IOD. So during, during the negative phase of IOD what happens is that the, the water near uh, Sumatra becomes uh, anomalously warmer and the water near Somalia becomes anomalously cooler. So from the ne neutral phase where there was warm and cold water this warm water becomes much more warmer and this uh, cooler water becomes much more colder uh, and because of that what happens is that you have the strengthening of the walker cell. So now this convective walker cell circulation cell which is uh, forming near the equator is, is strengthened and because of that what happens is that there is a lot of moisture that is being pushed towards the East Indian Ocean and thereby it leads to an increased convective activity in this side. And because of that, the thermocline shape also changes, wherein you have upwelling in the western part and you have downwelling in the eastern part. So the, the thermocline slopes preferentially towards um, the West Indian Ocean or near Somalia. So there is a lot of cold water that, it get, that gets accumulated in this region. Okay? So that is a negative phase. And finally, you have the uh, positive phase of IOD. Uh, so this is the neutral phase and from that neutral phase you can also have a positive phase of IOD where what happens is the Walker circulation cell reverses its direction because now uh, in, in the neutral phase if you remember you have uh, slightly cool water here and you have slightly warm water here so that totally shifts so this warm pool now shifts towards Somalia and the cold pool now shifts towards Sumatra and because of that what happens is there is a reversal in the Walker circulation cell so that reversal in the Walker circulation cell allows uh, the lot of convective activity to happen in the West Indian Ocean because the strengthened or the ascending limb of the Walker circulation cell now resides in the in the West Indian Ocean. Okay, so this is the positive phase of IOD, and the thermocline also now preferentially slopes closer to Sumatra. All right, so these are the three modes of uh, Indian Ocean dipole, and uh, I I hope you understand the differences between each of these uh, th three modes, which is neutral, negative, and positive phase of IOD. So what are the rainfall, rainfall impacts of these uh, IOD phases? So during the neutral phase there is actually no such impact because it provides normal rain for Asia and Australia 
uh, there is no uh, anomalously high rainfall for either either of these subcontinents but during the negative phase the because the walker circulation cell strength, strengthens uh, in this region in the east indian ocean so because of that southeast asia and australia gets more rain during the negative phase of iod okay because the convection is very strong there however during the positive phase of iod there is enhanced activity over india because as you saw during the positive phase of iod the warmer pool of water is residing near uh, the West Indian Ocean and this gives a lot of moisture flux to India and that's why you have a lot of rainfall uh, anomalously high rainfall uh, in the Indian region during the positive phase whereas uh, in the Southeast Asia and Australia there, there is reduced rainfall or drought like situation during positive phase of IOD. Now let us look at the IOD signature so what happens is IOD starts developing somewhere around June or July and then it uh, kind of this is only for one season that I have shown uh, but what this is this is a general trend every year what happens is it starts it starts to develop during the monsoon season because that's when this preferential um, uh, pool of water is uh, collected uh, pool of water starts building over West Indian Ocean and East Indian Ocean that's when the difference in the temperature starts showing up so it starts in the, close to the monsoon season is when the IOD starts developing and it slowly increases and peaks uh, either during September, October or November, one of these seasons. Most usually during October is when the peak phase of IOD is seen. Okay, And after that it then gradually reduces and then this during the second cycle it will again start uh, developing in June and then peaking in October and then coming down. Okay, so positive phase of IOD is announced when the IOD index, which is the temperature difference between the West Indian Ocean and the East Indian Ocean, is plus 0.4, ab plus, uh, is above plus 0.4, whereas negative phase is when it is uh, uh, above minus 0.4. Okay, so if, uh, if, uh, if this uh, point reaches here, then it is a negative IOD event. Uh, so that is the IOD signature. Remember, it peaks in October and uh, uh, the 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 reason for uh, this uh, the IOD uh, becoming negative or uh, positive from the neutral phase is because of the presence of these waves. So you have Kelvin wave and you have Rossby wave near uh, in the near in the equator and in the ocean. So what happens is when there is uh, uh, when there is a cold pool of water uh, near um, uh, Somalia then an up upwelling Kelvin wave will push it near to, to Sumatra and then at the same time a downwelling Rossby wave which is a warmer wave will push warmer waters to uh, Somalia and that's how you start developing a positive IOD event. Okay, So it is all due to the action of Kelvin wave where the cold water is pushed towards Sumatra thereby uh, this is the final state I'm showing but assume that there was a cold water here and there was a warm water here because of the movement of these waves slowly the cold water pool will shift here and the warm water pool will shift here and that's how you get this positive IOD phase. Negative IOD phase is uh, similar wave uh, action it gives rise to a negative IOD phase. Okay, So uh, formation of IOD is not as un well understood as uh, El Nino or ENSO uh, because the Indian Ocean is a very small basin and these waves keep moving uh, very regularly and hence um, uh, the development of positive and negative IODs are not well uh, um, uh, forecasted. Okay? But however this is true that it will always peak near October. So IOD records as you can see 2019 uh, was saw the one of the strongest IOD uh, in the history of uh, uh, this uh, Indian Ocean Dipole um, uh, activity uh, so as you can see uh, if you start yeah so in may it starts as you can see that in during may there was no preferential cooling uh, there was no preferential difference in the temperature Let's see uh, i will show yeah see it is not and then slowly july august and october it peaks so the positive iod event was strongest in october where there was a massive cold pool here and massive warm pool here and you can see slowly this cold pool is shifted here and this warm pool is moving here and these are the action of the waves and IOD at in 2019, uh, you can see the peak. Yeah, this peak is happening in October. Um, so other remarkable IOD records are uh, 1997. There was a strong IOD event, and uh, 2010 was a strong negative IOD event. Uh, so these are like the record-breaking IOD events that I am putting down. But uh, others are moderate or weak IOD events have occurred occurred uh, in the last 
uh, one decade or two decades every every year there is a there is a weak or moderate event but i'm on, only the strong events actually impact um, india very uh, much that's why i'm only putting the strong iod events on on record here all right so uh, i hope you learned something about iod which is the indian ocean dipole and uh, the physics uh, the different modes of indian ocean dipole what is uh, the importance of indian, indian ocean dipole and uh, how does it form due to the action of these waves equatorial waves that are present in the ocean so uh, thank you for the support and uh, i uh, request you to subscribe to this channel for regular weather updates and uh, also the educational videos that i'm bringing uh, to you guys all right thank you for your support have a good day bye